Good morning, students. The problem we will be solving today is from Topic 15, Video B, Percent Composition, Part 1. Before solving, it's helpful to remember that we are given a percent composition that we convert to grams of the element, and we do this assuming that we are given a 100 gram sample. Afterwards, we convert the grams of each element to moles of the element by dividing by the atomic mass. Finally, we find the empirical formula by finding the simplest integer mole ratio. A compound contains carbon, sulfur, and chlorine. The compound is 10.4% carbon and 27.8% sulfur. What is its empirical formula? So here we're given three atoms, carbon, sulfur, and chlorine. But we only know carbon has 10.4% and sulfur has 27.8%. 20, and we don't know our chlorine, so we have, so we have to find our we have 10.4% of carbon, and we know, given in the problem, and we know we have 27.8% of sulfur. So to find chlorine, we took 10.4% plus 27.8%, which gave us 38.2. Then we took 100% minus 38.2%. 38.2% and that gave us 61.8%. So that would be our percent for chlorine. We know that whatever we have as our percent is also our grams. So we have 10.4% carbon, we also have 10.4 grams of carbon. And then same with um, sulfur, we have 27.8 grams. And then for chlorine, and then for chlorine, we have 61.8 grams. So here we are given the grams for each of the three atoms. And to find the moles of each atom, we just take the amount of grams and divide by the mole of each of the three atoms. So to find the moles of carbon, we divide 10.4 by 12.01, which is the molar mass of carbon, we get 0.866. For sulfur, we take 27.8 grams of sulfur and divide it by 32.07, which gives us 8.67. And to find the moles of fluorine, we divide 61.8. So for the final calculations, we take the amount of moles we got for each and divide them by the lowest amount of moles, which in this case is, is 0.866. So we take 0.866 and divide it by 0.866 and we get 1. We take 0.867 and divide it by 0.866 and we get 1.001, which equals 1. And 1.74 and get 2.009, which equals 2. So now we have all the calculations we need, and we know that the empirical formula will be C plus CL2.